When assessing the heart and neck muscles, you want to first inspect. Inspect the neck area, palpate your carotid pulse one side at a time. You inspect the jugular pulsation that's found on on the if you find look for the clavicle and it should be right on above the innermost medial side of the clavicle. You will inspect the chest area, look for any lifts, heaves. You're going to then palpate at the fifth intercostal, mid, here's the clavicle, midway, palpate the apical pulse. You can ask the person to excel and hold their breath. It may help. Sometimes you may have to turn them slightly to their left side to, uh, while you're holding to feel the pulse. Also palpate over the areas to feel if there's any thrills, which is like a humming, purring feeling on your finger. Now you um, inspect it, you've palpated, you're going to auscultate. When you auscultate, you want to know where, you, where to listen. Feel the sternal notch. You move your finger down to find the angle of Lewis or the sternal angle. It's the ridge right here. The, um, these are your clavicles. So when you find that, this is the second rib. The second intercostal space is right below that. That is your aortic area. So that is the site for the aortic area. When you listen and then you move the finger out your right over the other side of the sternum, right next to it is your pulmonic area. This is called the base of the heart. Think of the heart as a big triangle. This is the base. You're going to hear both S1 and S2 and listen for them with the diaphragm of your stethoscope that picks up the higher pitch sounds. And you're going to listen. Listen, focus on both S1, S2. You will hear S2 louder at these two areas because S2 is the closure of the aortic and pulmonic or semilunar valves. So then you're going to inch down, move down to the next, the third intercostal space, also called the herbs. You know, both sounds will, S1 and 2 will be about the same. Go down to the fourth and then the fifth intercostal space next to the sternum is called the tricuspid area. So that is, you're going to listen and that area, both the tricuspid and the mitral area, you will hear the S1 louder. You will hear both heart sounds. Focus on both, listen, and then you will inch over to take this clavicle mid-clavicular way and this is your mitral area. And you focus, it's also your apical, your point of maximum impulse. So then you're going to listen. If you, when you want to, um, if you hear any irregularities, you want to compare with the mitral with the radial pulse. Listen to, you know, compare the, your apical impulse with the radial. They should be the same. Otherwise, there's a pulse deficit. Now you're going to turn your stethoscope over, use the bell, lightly place it, and listen to the same areas for the low pitch sounds. You won't hear your S1 and 2 as loud or very little and you will listen to see if you hear some of the murmurs or an S3 or 4 which are irate, they are um, abnormal. The S3 can occur in, in children and pregnant women is a normal sound. And that's how you listen to your heart sounds. Thank you.